Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK, the only YouTube channel dedicated to the Audi Camaro. Today I'm cooking my first ever brisket. So I picked this up at Sainsbury's. So Sainsbury's are currently doing point end brisket, so I've picked it up from there. So it's not cost me an absolute fortune. I'm talking £27 for a point end, and this is going to be my first ever cook of a brisket. So stick with it and we'll see how it turns out. So as I said, picked up this brisket from Sainsbury's the supermarket so they're currently doing point end brisket and it is £9.50 a kilogram which isn't a bad price now I've seen some varying results in these briskets um, depending on actually what you get inside the packet so I'm not a hundred percent sure on what I'm going to do with it until I've actually got it open so Wilson's barbecue cooked one of these he put a video out um, beginning of last week and on his point he had a fair bit of flat on there as well and there wasn't a lot of marbling within that flat so if that's how mine is when I open it up then I've got a few ideas of what exactly I'm going to do with it but the first thing we've got to do is get it open and see exactly what we're working with so I've literally just slid it out of packaging I've not really had a look at anything so far so let's give it a nice flip about so we are predominantly point which is good there's not a lot of fat going in over here we've got some nice flex through the majority a bit of fat through the middle of here I'm not going to trim any of this because they're supposed to pretty much come pre-trimmed and I want to keep as much fat on this as possible so this piece I'm quite worried about it drying out but we're just gonna have to work with that as is I think so first thing I want to do is I'm gonna get some seasoning on here so I'm just going on SPG so salt pepper and garlic I've mixed some up already so it's a ratio of um, one part of each and I just want to get it completely covered um, and then we're going to get it on the Komodo so it's still quite wet from coming out of the packet so I'm just going on with the SPG so the reason I'm not using any other sort of branded rub is I want to keep this as simple as I possibly can today it is my first ever brisket cook and I want the meat to really shine through rather than being overpowered by a load of rub. This is just going to help it sing. Flip it back over. Here. I'm happy enough with that. I've got a nice covering all the way over. So I'm just going to let that sit while I light the Kamado and let the Kamado come up to temperature. So that's going to take sort of half an hour ish. Um, and then we're going to get this on. So I've got lump wood charcoal, sort of about halfway up the fire bowl, uh, wood chunks in here ready to go in, and a couple of fire lighters. So we're just going to get them lit. And when they've gone out, we'll give it another sort of five minutes just for everything to take. And then we're going to get our smoking wood on the top and our deflector in, and we're going to let it stabilise the temperature. So while everything's coming up to temperature, I thought that I would uh, just talk you through my ways of cooking this. So because it is a British brisket, there's not a massive amount of fat on there. So because of this, I'm going to be cooking it hot and fast rather than low and slow. So I'm aiming for about 150, 140, 150 degrees C um, cooking temperature. That's going to be going in the Kamado with some oak wood and some cherry chips. And then 
we're just going to leave that in there for two and a half hours. I'm not going to open it at all during that point and hopefully that's going to build up a nice bark on the outside. At two and a half hours I'm going to go in and I'm going to check the bark. I'm happy that that is set. Then we're going to wrap it in some butcher's paper, um, stick a probe in, take it up towards 98 and then at 98, 99 we're going to start, sorry that's degree C, we're going to start probing it to see um, how tender it is and once I'm happy with the tenderness which I'll go through with you when we get to that point we'll take it off and we'll let it rest so yeah I'm really looking forward to this as say first brisket cook so I am incredibly nervous about it um, but we'll see how we go so as you can see with the charcoals taken on both sides of here where the uh, wax woody was so now I want to get my piece of smoking wood in I'm going to be putting that directly in between the two pieces that have lit and then get our deflectors in place so we're just using the standard deflector that come with the Audi Commando get that in place and then get the lid shut vents open and start to dial in our temperature so I've got that temp dialed in to 150 so I want to take this out because I want to add my cherry chips. I didn't add these right at the beginning because if I add these right at the beginning while everything's coming up to temperature you're going to have no cherries left. So I have pre-soaked them just to try and give me a bit of a longer smoke on them. Just has moved slightly. Centralize and get this brisket on. So, right over that deflector plate as best we can and get a lid shut. So, two and a half hours in, I'll open her up. Just bring you in a bit closer. So I like the look of that. I just want to give that bark a little tap. Sorry for the fingers, freehand. That's set nicely. We've already got a nice bit of jiggle to it actually. How's this little flat part down here doing? Not as much fat on there so it doesn't look half as good as the rest. So I think I'm going to give that a wrap. I'm try and keep as much of this on film as I can. I can see me getting in the way. So I'm wrapping in butcher's paper today. First time I've ever used butcher's paper as well. There's a, a lot of firsts. I'm going to bring this end in and over. I've got two layers to join here. Just slide up this way a bit. Holding the back side. Crease there, holding that back side. Again, get a crease in, bring up this side. And then roll it over. That's probably the worst looking wrapped brisket ever. Hopefully it's going to do its job. So I'm going to get that back on and get a probe into it. And then we'll check it again when we get to uh, about 98. I've just pushed that probe in the top. Just in here into the thickest part. I'm using my IBT 4XS. So it's currently sitting at 69. So we've got a fair way to go yet. You know, another 30 degrees. So get the lid shut back up and see how long it takes. So it's just hit 98. So I'm going to open her up and give it a good probe. Still quite tough 
in the middle. So just gonna keep going another few degrees. So I've given it another 30 minutes and I just wanna go in and check that middle. Oh, that's much softer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap it quickly and just double check everywhere because I think I'm getting more resistance off the butcher's paper than I am out of the meat itself. So I just want to double check it and then provide I'm happy I'll wrap it back up and let it rest. I've just got that plate nice and ready. It feels very soft when I pick it up. Flip it over this way. Butcher's paper's stuck nicely. So I paused it because everything was sticking and as you can still see here there's still some butcher's papers stuck so I've obviously done something wrong somewhere along the line there that's not going to come off there it's got a lovely wiggle so it's just give it a probe yeah that's beautifully soft even the flat is nice it's just a bit of resistance going through that bark and then it's lovely so I'm just gonna scoop this paper back up around it flip it back over and leave that to rest for 30 minutes so I think I worked out why that butcher's paper is stuck so when i rolled it when i've put it back on it's gone fat cap down and i didn't really want to do that so something i need to pay attention to when i'm rolling up the butcher's paper so that i don't do that again but it's got a nice jiggle which is always good that's what everybody speaks about so i'm going to do a cut straight through here Just getting caught on that bark on the bottom just slightly. Roll it out. So let's point. Looks lovely. If anything, I think the fat still could render out more. So live and learn. This is the flat, so as you can see it's a lot drier, but it's still nice and moist. Lots and lots to learn. So all in all, this took six hours and 45 minutes for it to temp, uh, to, to probe tender. So I had um, two and a half hours in that smoke and then the rest of the time was wrapped in butcher's paper. As I said, I think I've had an issue where I've put it back in up the wrong way. I should have had more butcher's paper so I could have got another roll in it so it would be up the right way. But the important part is give it a taste. It's lovely and soft. Um, and that fat could have rendered out more. So maybe I should have done it more of a low and slow. But being a British brisket, I thought hot and fast might get there. So I think your best bet is to look at it and if you've got the amount of fat running through it like I had, then maybe a low and slow is a better way to do it than a hot and fast. But everything's live and learn. There's no such thing as bad barbecue. It's just all lessons. So if you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life UK, then please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Cheers for watching.